Hi, this is Attorney Mike Gravel coming to you from Chicago as usual, and Amber is back at it again. Let's do it. As you sit here with me now, has it sunk in? How could it? Real easily. Uh, the verdict was was pretty clear. Uh, you, you got a judgment, which is beyond me, for, for $2 million, and he, he got one that nets out to about uh, uh, $10 million. So th there you go. I mean, I, I can't even remember now. I've, I've, <laughs> I've jumbled the numbers slightly, but, but it's, an, it's a big net loss for you. It's surreal and difficult, in part, yes. Um, this has been a long time coming do you stand by you, you got that right it, uh th this poor guy's been dealing with this stuff for like six years and uh and finally get a little relief your testimony and your accusations against johnny depp about abuse of course to my dying day will stand by every word of my testimony Okay, I, I don't believe that uh, her testimony for one second, but I, for once, uh, I'll give Amber a break here. What else? You, what else are you supposed to say? Now I lost everything I said was a lie. Mm, I, I don't even expect that of her. I think vast majority of this trial was played out on social media. I think that this trial. Well, yes, there were cameras in the courtroom, and th that's that's no secret. A lot of stuff happened on, on social media. The jurors were not weren't supposed to be looking at it. They probably had some uh, uh, exposure to it. Just it, 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 I agree with her. She says that later, and I I agree with her to that extent. Uh, some of that probably slipped through, but I doubt it really had much influence. The jurors were looking at the evidence. Is an example of that gone? haywire gone amok and the jury is not immune to that you think it, the jury uh, w that gone haywire and amok that being what uh first amendment expression in the united states that hasn't gone haywire and amok that's uh uh that's what should be happening you saw it how could they not i think even the most well-intentioned juror it would have been impossible to avoid this no uh, it, it would be certainly be possible. It's not likely, given given uh, the way society works these days. I, I'll agree with that. But it's it's certainly not impossible. Someone just said, I, "I refuse to see anything," and and you know, I'm not listening or looking. Yeah, you, they would have no access to it. That's it. After three and a half weeks, I took the stand and saw just a courtroom packed full of Captain Jack Sparrow fans who were vocal, energized. Can you put? Oh, that is so annoying. Yeah, she she said a similar thing yesterday that that uh, you know the, the people just thought it was a character, and it's so insulting. Um, yeah, again, Captain Jack Sparrow. You're, I, I've been commenting on this case the entirety of the case. I've never seen uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm I'm aware of it. It's 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 a big movie or whatever. But you want to have this fantasy that people can't separate him from his roles, and it's just it's just not so into words how that felt this was the most humiliating and horrible thing i've ever been through i have never felt more removed from my own humanity uh i there i believe her it probably is the most humili humiliating thing she's ever been through um and it it, it should be it should be. I, I think she did some nasty things with uh, some ill intent and got caught, and that would be humiliating. I, I, I felt less than human. Let's go back to the, the day of the verdict. Were you feeling confident? <sighs> That's a great question. I wish I could say yes. To that I want to say yes to you but it would it wouldn't be true do you think that maybe he just had better lawyers I will say his his lawyers did a, certainly a better job of distracting the jury from the real issues for some people oh is she offensive uh, they, they didn't distract uh, the jury from the issues. They pointed them to the the issues, and it's precisely why you lost. She had 
uh, good attorneys on her team, what she had is a bad case and no evidence. That's the problem. Yeah, she wants to point the fingers to other directions, but what she had was uh, a lack of evidence to support her claims, and she came off as insincere in her testimony. They just were frankly disgusted by the whole thing and don't have much sympathy for either one of you. Can you understand that? Absolutely. I would not blame the average person for looking at this and how it's been covered and not think that it is Hollywood brat at their at their worst. I'd, but what people don't understand is it's, it's actually so much bigger than that. This is, uh, this is not only about our First Amendment right to speak. But here's the thing about the First Amendment. The First Amendment protects free speech. It doesn't protect lies that amount to defamation. And that was the issue in the case. Yes, exactly. You can't go into, the free speech does not protect you if you, you know, go into a crowded theater and you scream fire. Oh boy, here we go. Amber, the constitutional scholar. Let's, let's see, let's see. We get the concept of free speech from the Greeks. My understanding of what that means is not just the freedom to speak. It's a freedom to speak truth to power. The truth is the word. Yes. And that was the issue. And that's all I spoke. And I spoke it to Ouch. I, this is my second time through. I, did, I didn't hear that the first time. She, she really stuck it to her there. It was, it, it was a very good follow-up. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed, I have to say. I, I, I didn't think uh, the Today Show had it in them. Power, and I paid the price. In the closing arguments, the DEP lawyer said, called your testimony the performance of a lifetime and said you were acting. What do you say to that? Says the lawyer for the man who convinced the world he had scissors for fingers. <laughs> oh, this is my dog stepped on a B quality material here. Uh, the, the world isn't convinced that he has scissors, uh, scissors for fingers. The, the world is well aware that that uh, that he played a character that had scissors for fingers, and that it, that it wasn't reality. Uh, the the level of conceit you have for the rest of the world, right there, it that says it all. That says it all. Oh, you think the trial was bad? I hope that, that social media runs with that all day long. I'm the performer. I had listened to weeks of testimony uh, insinuating that or saying quite directly that, you know, I'm a terrible actress. So I, I, I'm, a, I'm a bit confused how I could be both. The DEP team argued that you... Um, you're confused how, how you could be both, why, acting on the stand but, but, but just not doing a good job of it? Because you were both and it's, it's very consistent, very simple. You were the abuser, that you instigated physical violence, did you? I never had to instigate it, I responded to it. When you're living in violence and it becomes... She uh, admitted as much in her testimony and the recordings at the trial. Uh, th th this, this last bit right here is verifiably false. But you're testifying and you're just telling me today, I never started a physical fight, and here you are on tape saying you did. As I testified on the stand about this, is that when your life is at risk, not only will you take the blame for things that you shouldn't take the blame for, but when you're in an abusive dynamic, psychologically, emotionally, and physically, you don't have the resources that say you or I do with the luxury of saying, hey, this is black and white, because it's anything but when you're living in it. But then there are other times, there's another table. That just made no sense. I mean, that's just word salad. She said, I didn't have the resources that you and I have. Oh, okay, I can't even follow it. Where you're taunting him and saying, oh, tell the world, Johnny Depp, I, a man, am a victim of domestic violence. 20 second clips or the transcripts of them are not representative. Of it was absolutely representative. Absolutely. You said it, you, it, it and it was taken in the spirit it was intended by all the listeners. 
and you can't uh, get out of it. She does ask a good follow-up question here. Of even the two hours or the three hours that those clips are excerpt from. Could your side have just put the whole three hours in then? I'm not a lawyer. As I testified. <laughs> I'm not a lawyer. And again, she does it with uh, my dark stepped on a bee face. <laughs> No one, no one is accusing you of being a lawyer. Okay, let's let all right, let let's ha find some common ground here. Uh, me and Amber, common ground. No one thinks you're a lawyer. Okay, oh, that's funny. Of course, her attorneys could uh, could have uh, submitted the the entirety of it if it helped her cause. The, the, there are reasons for it, which I don't know. I didn't hear all of the tapes, but it, it, either it's evidentiary or the attorneys probably made the good judgment that it's not helpful. One of those two scenarios, but uh, the, it's an adversarial process, and they certainly had uh, every opportunity to present their side. So if it contains something fantastic for her that would place uh, th that damning tape in context, uh, I'm, I'm sure that her legal team would have done everything in their power to get it in. And, and if it was probative, they would have gotten it in. To, I was talking in those recordings as a person an extreme amount of emotional, psychological, and physical distress. He and says doesn't, he never hit you. He never. Is yeah. that a lie? Yes, it is. What about the witnesses who said they have seen you instigate physical violence? I've seen firsthand how people will file rank and support the person they depend on. Did they all come in and lie in court? I am not here to call any of witnesses any names i'm here to just kind of talk about it from what it felt like for me as a person well that's nice you didn't call them on names you've been implying they're, they're liars uh the entire time however and that 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 was the point of the question and you sat there when i asked his lawyers why do you think you won and the answer i got was because she never took responsibility for anything she did in the marriage I did do and say horrible, regrettable things throughout my relationship. Uh, I behaved in horrible, almost unrecognizable to myself ways. There's so much, I have so much regret. I freely. I don't believe this for one minute uh, that she has the regret. Uh, this would have been good. I'll bet you her legal team wanted her to say things like this and come across this way. This feels like she knew this is what she should have done. She got lots of feedback. This feels like a focus grouped response um, that's, you know, two weeks after the trial and irrelevant. And openly and voluntarily talked about what I did. I, I talked about the horrible language. I talked about being pushed to the extent where I didn't even know the difference between, you know, um, right and wrong. I agreed again. Once again, you don't know the difference between between right and wrong. And, and it's not because uh, you're a victim here. It's it's nice to hear you admit that we will always continue to feel like I was a part of this, like I was the other half of this relationship because I was, and it was ugly and could be very beautiful. It was very, very toxic. And we were awful to each other. You know, I made a lot of, a lot of mistakes, a lot of mistakes, but I've always told the truth. Oh, Lord, no, you didn't. And everybody knows it. Well, there you have it. Uh, I, I did one quick yesterday. I thought I thought this was all over. Then they, they did this. Apparently, there's a few more. If if there are bits in there, I'm, I mean, I'll look at them first. I, I, I previewed this really quickly and, and thought, nah, th th there are things I, I have to respond to. I <laughs> hear a lot of talk. We like to have fun with uh, silly stuff that happens in court and every once in a while and completely by accident, I assure you, you might learn something. Thanks for watching.